Keith coming over today, uh, so he'll be here shortly. Uh, so I'll just show you, so I've all loaded panels. Uh, I'll just show you what we're gonna be getting on with today. So, uh, so I've got a front scuttle, uh, all of the complete door apertures. Um, debatable whether we do the whole thing or we cut sections out of it. Uh, we'll know when we start cutting the old bits out. Obviously got the um, uh, rear quarters and A panels and then the um, inner um, door hinge panels or parts because uh, I think some of it some of it's quite uh, rusted so yeah so I'll probably I'll do one side I'll get on one side Keith get on the other side hopefully we can get it all out today um, and at the very least get everything sort of sighted in and lined up um, and then I'll have to do all the prep work on it before I uh, spot weld it all in.
taking this part of the aperture out anyway. Just concerned about the roof.
All right, bit of an update. So, <coughs> we've both cut out on both sides. Um, so, I'm glad I took the door hinge parts out because that was, I'll show you the other parts in a minute. Up this part, it's actually much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, in here would be good anyway. There's a slight rusting down here, it's not too bad. And it's actually pretty good in this part here. A little bit of surface rust here just starting. Uh, obviously I've, I've coated all them anyway. A um, little bit rusty along this join here. Um, now something that's been really annoying for us, um, these, so the wheel arts join um, and the roof seam joint, uh, the, they're not spot welded uh, on the Mark III. Uh, Keith says it's, uh, it's, it's like a rolled weld, uh, so there's no specific points that you can drill out to uh, split the thing. The only way we've found to do it is just to grind it back and hope that we're not going through too much of the second uh, layer. Doesn't seem to be any rust between the layers, so there's no sort of grinding it back um, and then starting to see the rust and then like, easing off. We've just got to do a bit at a time. Um, yeah, so I've never seen that before. Um, so, yeah, um, it's not too shabby down here. There's a bit of surface rust starting up here. Um, there's all the rust through here, which I thought there might be. Um, and then, same on Keith's side. It's a bit more manky on this. Um, but it's actually much better on this part, on the inner part. Uh, this part here is obviously ru it's rusted through there, so this is actually worse than the other side. Um, so we might weld a little piece in there. Um, but the rest of it is, is actually pretty good. Uh, these parts are an absolute nightmare to get to unpick and get off to get the aperture in um, but yeah it's it's, it's all alright there's a little hole in the roof there um, which is difficult to see let me see that there um, so the bits we took off you can see I'm glad I did take them off to be honest. Um, the driver side was much worse. Um, and then the door apertures. Not too bad actually, the worst on better than what I thought they would be, it's just the welding on the step was rubbish. Uh, bit manky at the top here, on the top corner, I think that's where the roof has rusted through. So next thing, just to keep cleaning up, ready to put the new bits in. <coughs> 